<laughs> Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Oh, today it is brisk, it is chilly, let me tell you what. Yeah, let's check out the temperature here. It is sitting at, oh my, oh, it, it's not bad. It's actually up to 16 degrees. I think about 30 minutes ago it was sitting right at 10 to 12 degrees with a wind chill at like 2. Now the wind chill's not bad at 8. So, uh, I went driving around, didn't see any crows out. I, I really scouted this morning from about uh, 9 to about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I didn't see anything out. So what I'm thinking, and correct me if I'm wrong down below, is that it was so cold this morning, a lot of birds just didn't fly. Um, there's a few fields in particular that I usually see 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 crows out in feeding, and they weren't there this morning. So... I'm thinking it might be a late flight this morning, so we're going to go out on a solo crow hunt. Uh, I just had to empty all my duck decoys, so I actually have a bag to put my crow decoys in. Yes, rest in peace duck decoys, not till next season, buddies. We're going to get to it. We're going to walk in on some tree rows, and uh, we're going to see what we can get. We're going to wing it and see if the e-collar brings them into us. I think uh, we're rocking, what, six decoys, so let's get on the road. Well, we're on the road here, and oh, look at that camo ducks hat. If you want to pick one up, I will link them down below. But we're going to go a little differently about this here crow hunt than the last one. The last one, I uh, used my quad, and I had, to, I had to lug out the layout blind. It was a solo hunt and all, but I had a lot more gear. And I think riding that quad in, I think crows are very smart. As you all know, crows are very, very smart. So when you ride a loud quad in and then you sit down and then you, you, you expect to be quiet and then come to you, man, they've already heard you drive in on a dang loud old gas motor. You know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. The, them crows are like, dude, you're not that slick. We just saw you ride in here. So all in all, what I'm getting at is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to some simple crow hunting techniques, y'all. Seems like the more simple and uh, more sneaky, more tactic, you know what I'm saying? Tactic oriented, quiet, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm the predator. These guys are usually the predator, they're scavengers, of course, but I gotta be the predator and I gotta go in quiet. I think that's what works the best, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna carry uh, just the essentials in. I've really got my gear picked down to a minimum. I'll be having the gun. I think one box of shells will do it. A bucket to sit on and the decoys. That should be about it. Oh, and the e-collar and, and yeah, the e-collar. But bare minimum today, I'm getting to the field right now. We're gonna start walking in here. Well, we are walking in here. And uh, I didn't even bring the bucket this time just because I'm trying to reduce the amount of stuff I have to carry in. On these solo hunts like this, I'm telling you, when you have a bunch of gear to get in, it can get uh, it can get tasking. You can get tired by the time you get there, especially when it's cold like this. I don't want to build up a sweat because right now we're sitting at about a seven to eight degree wind chill. It is extremely cold. It's so cold that I still haven't seen a crow anywhere. They have to be still at their roost, just trying to stay warm because it is ferociously cold. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Honestly guys, this uh, type of cold, you need some good gear. You gotta stay warm. Well, here we are. I think this is the move of the day right here. I'm thinking about sitting basically behind slash in this big evergreen so I can really be hid. One of the key things that y'all have taught me also that I've learned is that you gotta be hid. That is the most important thing is you have to be hid. The, the eyesight on these crows are crazy good. So. I think I'm going to hide right here on the side of this in the shadow of the tree and uh, it'll also get me out of the wind a little bit because it is cold. Alright, we are all set up. I've got the old GoPro on my head. Got the decoy set up. And here's the spread out front. I set them real wide here. Got these two arguing in the middle of them. But total we got six decoys. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And over to the left I covered it up with a bunch of brush. That is our e-collar. So let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and kick on the old e-collar. I love this point of the videos, the crow videos, because you never know how they're gonna go. It could be good, it could be bad, but you know what? We're here and we're gonna try. And that's what I wanna do today. I was bored, I'm like, I have a video to edit at home. 
it's really cold. I didn't really want to get out today because it was so cold. But I'm like, you know what? I'm bored. I have to try crow hunt today. Being it's so cold, they haven't been out to feed yet. I could tell. So we're going to see if we can pull them out of their roost on this cold morning. See if they're hungry. We're firing her up. I'm going to transition you guys to the GoPro. Hopefully we can shoot something here. All right, we're up and rolling. We got the e collar going. Usually it doesn't take more than two to three minutes for these birds to get here. Now, like I said, I'm sitting up underneath this evergreen, so I'm going to be able to see them. I'm going to pop out and I'm going to stand up and shoot whenever they're flying above. Let's hope that we get them above so we can have some shooting opportunities here. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, we got two of the decoys, boys. Here we go. Oh, here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they came in a swarm. Oh my goodness. They're going to come back here. We're going to pop one, baby. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> here we go, boys. I don't want to wait too long. Here's this one here. I'm going to pop him. Where's he going? Where are you going, bud? Where are you at? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, I think I hit it on the head, boys. Oh, I should have shot. I think I waited too long. Come back. Man, they came and checked me out hard. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. If you guys are liking the video so far, give me a big old thumbs up. Oh, that was awesome. Here we go. He's coming back to check us out here. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of them. This is getting interesting, boys. Holy cow, they are ticked off. They come over right here, they're just like, ah, 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 ah. I mean, they're going crazy. I should have shot a couple times already, but you know me, I like watching them to see what they do. I'm trying to learn them here, because that was cool. They came right to it in a pile. All right, now we got them out front here. Try to hide my face as best as I can. One, two, three, four, five of them. Oh man, that was cool. Now we're gonna have to get one on the ground, boys. So I think at this point, what we do is we turn off the e-collar, we give them just a hair break, and when they come back, we are gonna nail them. So, oh, it's so cold, my hands are already almost froze. Man, I should have shot a couple times, gosh darn it. I was sitting there for like a minute and I'm like, oh man, I bet you nothing's going to happen. And then all five of them suckers just came over and looked at me hard. They've came over two or three times. I could have shot probably two or three times, but I wanted to uh, just kind of learn them, see what they're doing. I'm going to turn off the e-collar like we have now and I'm going to wait for probably, I don't know, probably five minutes, give them a good rest. And I'm going to kick it back on. The first shot I get, I'm going to take it, boys. And I didn't like, I couldn't see anything hardly, so I'm going to move from here. I think I'm going to stand either back here or in this one, because they should come over from that way. But now I'm looking into the sun real bad. Alright, let's kick her on and see what we can do. I'm just going to, I'm going to get back in this tree is what I'm going to do. Where's he at? Oh, he's right there. Gosh dang it, I missed him. Now they're staying all behind me. They're all staying back over here now. Oh man, I turned the call off and they're just all flying around me here. They're all just trying to see what's going on, making a bunch of noise. Well, I'm going to rotate the call on and off one more time. I'm going to stand back here because they like staying above these trees. They really like staying above these trees. They don't like getting you know, over the top of them decoys very much. We got it turned back on. Here they are, they're back. 
Come on, fly over the top. Got three of them right here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I missed bigger than poop. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, man, am I kicking myself in the shorts. Uh, I should have... One thing I'm learning here, and, and y'all know, um, I'm learning crow hunting here. You know, I, I try to teach y'all duck hunting and goose hunting and all these other styles of hunting that I know. Uh, but this is where you guys got to help me in. And I ask you guys every time during these crow hunts to drop comments down below and let me know what I'm doing or did wrong. In that case right there, there was like five to seven that came and just bum rushed the decoys. I mean, they came right over the trees here. And I'm sitting down in this evergreen, so I cannot see that way. And they came from that way, came right over the top. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, what do I do? I probably had two really, really low shots that I could have took and down probably two birds. But I was kind of starstruck. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's working. I didn't think it was going to work. It's so cold, you know, all the factors going into it. And they just rushed the freaking decoy spread. And I missed him. I, I didn't get a shot off. And I turned it off, waited a bit, and two came back over the top. It was a really far shot, I know. But I tried them, and, and with those two shots, so now I turned it on and, and cycled it one more time, and, and they weren't very interested. So I'm thinking this spot is probably burned for the day. So I'm going to get picked up here. I'm not going to scrap this. We're going to keep this going. Uh, that was absolutely amazing what happened there. I mean, they got so loud, I could hear them over the call right here. They're just... Ah! just going nuts they were pissed off but we're gonna get picked up here we're gonna move spots and hope that we can get at least one down well drove a couple miles here and we are at our next field I've never hunted this field that last field that I've hunted I've hunted a few times over and actually only twice for crows but I think they're just used to the call and everything this field I've seen them feeding in a lot um, I don't know exactly where they're roosting on a lot of days when I'm coming back from hunting and I'm driving down the dirt road here, I see them in this field. So we're only going to have to walk about one, two hundred yards, sit by a little evergreen, throw out the decoys and the collar and see what happens. This time I'm going to be ready. The first bird that comes over that spread, I'm going to squeeze that trigger. There is no waiting this time. I'm kicking myself in the butt because I didn't have a good area of view. I couldn't see where they were coming from. Uh, that evergreen that I was sitting under really, really blocked a lot of my vision. I couldn't see even how high they were and they were only like 20 yards above my head when they really came the first time. So I'm going to get out there, pop on the GoPro, give it another whirl. Wish me luck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we are at the next spot. Let me tell you, I don't think it's warmed up at all. The, the wind out of the east has just been picking up. I already have, uh, we got crows in the field next door. They're already up and dancing around feeding. I'm going to click on the call, see if we can drag them over here. Here we go, here we go, here's one. Where's he at? Oh, come on baby, come here, come here. We got one in the air here. And crank up the volume a little bit, get his attention. Well, we got a lot of birds in the field next to us feeding. And uh, we're gonna try to pull them over here to us. All right, the call's cranked up, let's roll baby. First shot I get, I'm taking it. So, I am uh, crouched behind this tree. I'm gonna stay on my knees and stay crouched in this tree I got the decoys out ahead of me so I'll be able just to pop up above this tree if I get a if I get an opportunity for a close range shot here hopefully we do all right well, I just seen three get off the field they're heading straight at us right here I'm gonna have to stay down and not move at all but we're gonna we're gonna try to get us one down here boys oh yeah coming right at us on the deck all right here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, look at all of them that came. And I missed him. Oh my. You have got to be kidding me. Hi, shooter. I can't hit anything. I cannot hit anything today. Oh, wow. I really ruined that opportunity. Well, guys, this uh, <laughs> is turned into a series of how Bobby can't hit anything today. Oh, my goodness. 
<sighs> I don't understand what the issue is. Oh, I guess some days you shoot better than others. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. I can't believe it at all. That bird, that single was coming right at me. I didn't even know there was five more behind him, but he was coming right at me. All I had to do was stand up and shoot him. By, but by the time I stood up, he was like way over here. And then, yeah. The shot literally just got harder and harder because I had to turn around and crank backwards. And Oh man, does that just suck. But I'm taking a break here, and uh, I'm giving the e-collar a break. I'm going to wait about five minutes. I'm going to turn it back on and see if we can give them one more go. Hopefully we get a single or something to come over the top. Uh, I just feel like, you know, some days your shooting's on, some days it isn't. This is uh, one of the days that Bobby's shooting is not on. I mean, yeah, I have, a lot of, I have a lot of clothes on, which restricts me, but it's nothing new. I always have a lot of clothes on. Because I hunt in the cold. Every single, every single hunt, it's in the cold. So, no excuses today. And Bob just cannot shoot very good. What are you doing, Sisto? Stop. <laughs> well, you used to really like the camera. What's wrong now? <laughs> You're birdie. Making Frosty the Snowman, see? Oh, that's little Frosty the Snowman right there. Yeah. You're making a whole fort and everything, sister? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Mama, are you helping? Yeah. <laughs> and I brought my little Hashimoto over. Oh, awesome, sis. Well, the girls are doing girl things here. They got a whole table, a whole fortress built out of Play-Doh and everything. Oh, well, Harper Lynn, she gets a little nervous with the camera. When she was little, I used to throw the camera in her face and she'd go, Hi, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Now that she's getting older, she goes, and you can see her little shy side come out just like that. But we're back home here, as you can see, and I'll tell you what, um, crow hunting, uh, man, it's, it's a lot harder than I thought uh, it was going to be. This was my third crow hunt. The first hunt, we had decent luck. We got some on the ground. The second hunt was a little bit harder. And now the third hunt, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go uh less gear so no layout blind nothing like that i know that i need to be hid real well i need to stay still and i need to take what shots that i can get so guys i was hid good um i my spread looked decent uh i took a lot of your guys's tips from prior videos and a lot of you said bobby sit those decoys closer to you so that's what i did in this hunt a lot of things worked the birds came but bobby could not hit anything my shooting today was horrible and sorry the uh the old transition grandpa glasses are still transitioning uh i just could not hit anything i think i could have had a lot better luck uh with the first spot we went to i should have pulled up on those birds because they were literally right at the treetop um when they came i mean it was like i heard the e-collar and that's you know you hear the e-collar and all of a sudden behind me it's just like and I like they were just over me and I was like oh my goodness I was in this big old evergreen tree which I'm not gonna do that again I'm not gonna sit in evergreen trees ever again because your visuals they go down I mean your your visuals decrease so badly and and with shooting and shotgunning and birds you got to be able to see them birds coming so you know when to pick your good shot to pull up and shoot them I should have shot on that first group I waited too long so there's a few things that I've been learning about crow hunting uh, a lot of you say in the, in the comments down below, you're like, look, do not shoot the first bird because that's a scout bird. Well, this morning, that's kind of what I had in mind. That's why I didn't take some of those early shots, which knowing now, I'm always going to shoot what is over my decoys. What I'm able to shoot, what is in range, Bobby's going to shoot. And that's what I tried to do on the second set, the second spot we we're at, is that first one, man, he was coming right at me. Didn't even know I was behind that little evergreen tree, pulled up. By the time I pulled up, he was all he was way left. So my two shots that I got off were very off kilter, torsion, body torsioned and tweaked shots. So I can come up with every excuse in the book to try to describe why I didn't hit a crow today. But you know what? Some days you're good and some days you are not. But we do have another epic crow hunt coming your guys' way. I wanted to try out a few spots, solo hunt today. Tomorrow, I'm actually going out with a buddy that has a killer 
spot and I mean a killer spot so it'll be at minimum a two gun hunt and hopefully we can put a pile of these things down on the ground I'm telling you the first time I can put like, even just five crows on the ground it's gonna be epic and uh, hopefully it'll be a lot more than that and we'll get to that point it's just that learning these crows it's a new style of hunting for me it's a new species so every one of them you can't just go into it and, and, and expect to absolutely wreck them and do awesome you got to learn as time goes so that's what we're doing but if you have any comments about this hunt drop them down below if you're like Bobby you need to be doing this better or this better don't be afraid drop them down below I love reading all your guys's tips your tricks and you guys are have been helping me learn how to crow hunt without you guys I wouldn't be doing as good as I am at least getting them to come to the decoy spread my shooting could be a little better but I can, at least I can get them to come to the decoy spread expecting some pigeon hunts like I said in the last video pigeon hunts are getting ready to fire up and I couldn't be more excited about it but like always if you guys enjoyed this video give your boy a big ol a big ol thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you need to this is what we do here on the channel we are a wing shooting channel whether it's duck goose pheasant quail pigeon crows doesn't matter if it what it is if it flies it dies but thank you all for being here I greatly appreciate it and if you guys want to pick up that ducks camo hat I will go ahead and link that bad boy down in the description but thank you all for being here we will see you guys on the next one Peace.